Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our 2022 Complete Beginner's Guide to the Minotaur Berserker. I mean, at this time, it's a complete guide in the sense that we went from the beginner stuff and getting you started with the game to really showing you the content that you can work toward by acquiring three runes. And now we're going to show you what happens when you're at this stage and you're ready to go even further. So if I push shift, um, or sorry, control O and open up the dungeon overview, you'll see that we've cleared the lair. We did not go into the slime pits. We cleared the vaults. Um, we didn't go into the elven halls. We got the snake pit taken care of. We didn't need to go into the temple because we already have a god. And we cleared the orcish mines, the swamp, the main dungeon. We avoided the crypt and we're going to the depths. Now you could go to the elven halls or the crypt if you wanted some extra gear or experience, but I really advise against it. The crypt's probably a little easier than the elven halls, especially if you can handle the undead and have resist negative energy. But if the undead are like weak or are strong rather to what you do, like poison, cold or something like that, um, there's really no need to stretch yourself. Our character is plenty strong to take on the depths. So we need to shift G to uh, the depths and we'll see it right here. And uh, we are now in the depths. So the depths is this next phase and there are four levels to it and we're just going to explore it. And it's going to be filled with enemies that are sort of similar to what you would find on dungeon 14 and 15, uh, but even harder. So we've got a stone giant. I'm just going to throw stones at it and just, you know, kill it uh, before... <laughs> It even gets to us because we're good at throwing. By the way, I have four silver javelins. Any other javelins that I've seen? Um, just regular ones, three of them. So I'm not going to switch to that. Uh, and yeah, this is very common. So you're going to see a lot of this down here as we get deeper. Iron trolls, deep troll shamans, and deep troll earth mages. Uh, they're noteworthy because they can blow up the environment. Uh, and so, like, you can think you have a safe place and they can open the walls and stuff. Uh, but that's not too tricky for us. Uh, I'm just going to fight them and see how it goes a little bit. Yep, and you can see right here that it just happened where um, there's a grinding noise. And you can see that this wall has been uh, taken down. But in all honesty, yes, these guys are doing some damage. I'll go ahead and regenerate, but... Uh, Iron Trolls do a, a good amount of damage, and so controls in general, but for the most part, because our character is this strong, we should be able to just chop through them and be okay. Now let's just take a look at what we're training. I'm still training fighting, I'm still training axes, and I'm training armor and shields, and I'm comfortable at, with this character training those all to maximum level even though the cost is getting prohibited i mean i might stop doing shields soon 25 for sure probably but there's nothing wrong with extra hit points there's nothing wrong with more accuracy and damage with your weapon um, and there's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of extra boost from your armor so all of these things are so important and that's one of the reasons why the minotaur berserker is so powerful is because you just lean into the few narrow strengths that it has and it helps you make decisions on this screen better it could be really overwhelming especially if you're using magic when you see you know all of the skills lit up and making decisions we don't do stealth evocations is high enough we could raise that up more if we wanted we don't have to do spell casting we can't do invocations um, our dodging is fine at 14. you know we already did throwing slings unarmed combat no we just want to basically pick one weapon um for the most part and we're okay and here's a fire dragon so indeed like i said i'm gonna fight stuff uh that is commensurate with what we've seen before and fire dragon we certainly have we still don't have any resists in fire and cold which stinks uh, and we're on the prowl for that okay so the shining eye and the eyes of devastation this Shining Eye is a problem because it can malmutate, and this ability can m put a negative mutation on you, okay? And makes that a very, very annoying thing to deal with. Now, it is blocked, okay, 
by this grate. So I'm pretty sure that it can't do anything to you behind that grate, uh, and it's just going to be menacing. But for the most part, uh, I'm going to regenerate and just chill this lich and then uh, take out these rock sashes. There we go. I don't want to be near that. Getting mutated is, is bad uh, because some of the negative mutations are just absolutely annoying. And yeah, they can't get to us. They're guarding a ziggurat. So a ziggurat is this thing right here. And um, it is a random dungeon that it generates. And when I say dungeon, I mean it's just like one big room that you go into with a staircase um, on one side that is one way in, and then on the other side there's a, either a way to go further or to escape, and it's just filled with really, really hard enemies but good treasure. So very powerful characters will go into ziggurats and um, just keep going, see how far they can get, get a lot of treasure, but they escalate in difficulty. Um, so if you want to challenge yourself, go for it. But for a three-rune victory, there is no need at all to go into a ziggurat. In fact, it probably is a good way to get yourself killed. Um, I'm going to just not mess with it and walk past those guys. We'll have another opportunity at a ziggurat later, by the way. And we found a gate into Pandemonium. Um, I'm going to use Trog's hand and take out this Frost Giant and this Hellwing. I mean, you can see these enemies are getting quite stout indeed. Bunyip. Pandemonium, I'll show you right here, is a branch, sub-branch, that um, is incredibly difficult. Do not go in there with your character unless you are looking to die. It, it, in similar to the Abyss in that you might not know when you're going to get out. Uh, so you have that element where it's like, uh, you don't know when you're going to find a, stair uh, a portal that leads out. It's not like the Abyss in that you can map out the floor that you're on. You can fully explore it. And you can see where things are. It doesn't shift and change. But every floor is unique. And you never know when you're going to find a way out. And there are things in the uh, Halls of Pandemonium called Pandemonium Lords. Which are giant enemies that are incredibly difficult. There's many runes to gather in Pandemonium. In fact, um, you can see you can get a total of five, five runes in Pandemonium, um, but that is for extremely powerful characters who are doing extended, and we're not going to be messing with it. We're not ready for it. We need to build up to get in there. Um, and the tricky thing about Pandemonium is, too, that you can never go back to a floor once you've left it, so if you aren't powerful enough to get the rune that you're looking for and you have to go to another floor, you'll never be able to get back to that and get the rune and you lose it forever. So you want to make sure that you're strong enough to cover the material and not lose an opportunity if a rune, if to, to get a rune, if that's what you're going for. In some ways, though, once you get powerful enough, I actually prefer Pandemonium uh, to the abyss just because it, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on uh so th the lava is blocking something up here and we can fly over this if we want um but i don't really want to like i could drink a potion of flying right and, and just see what's over there oh or not i thought maybe there'd be an opening there but there's something here where these stone walls are, uh, but maybe you have to come up at it from below. Either way, we don't need to mess with it. And I'll pick up this stuff here, and I'm going to get my uh, stone back, and I'm just going to walk away. I don't need to go over there. Oh, <laughs> I just cut that guy up without even meaning to. I'm controlling myself at the moment because I don't want the auto explorer to take me back by those eyes. And that was a big dragon blasting me, but we got it. And deep troll, fine, let's just go kill it. No problem. We got a wand of flame. There's an Etten up there. We'll just throw stones at it. He can't he doesn't have anything ranged. He's just gonna lumber over toward us. We'll just blow him apart. And there's a shop. Ooh, it's a jewelry emporium. Okay. This is too bad in a lot of ways. 
Uh, this ring right here, I might end up buying it just to give myself resist fire, but it's not that good. It's only resist fire. So, you know, I'll leave it... Um, I'll mark it on the shopping list, but I doubt I'm ever going to want to get it. And, indeed, here is a Soul Eater and a Rock Sasha. Rock Sashas are annoying. They, like, split up, like you see right there, into defensive illusions. And they're very quick, and they blink around, and they're hard to hit. Um, but, for the, mostly, this character just is going to annihilate those things. And then we did end up getting in there. We just had to come at it from the top part portion. And there's a Blizzard Demon just going to throw stones at it. Another Blizzard Demon... Oh, it put clouds on us. We need to walk out of those clouds. And kill that. Soul Eater doing its thing. Oh, okay. There's a brain down there. We, we really want to kill brains because... Um, they can feed on our intelligence. And it's, it's only temporary. These used to be more diabolical uh, stat drains. Uh, but yep, yep, yep. Look at that. So, we got it fed on our um, intelligence, and it took our intelligence to zero, okay? Which is absolutely horrifying. So, um, I can now move again. I got paralyzed by that. So, now I, I can't mess around anymore. I'm going to need to blast that with acid, and we kill it. We kill everything that it summoned. I'm going to close the door, and I need to rest. Um, and we're going to have to earn our experience back, which is not going to be easy, uh, so that we can get our intelligence back, because zero is so bad. We're permanently slow, we can't read scrolls, okay? We can use our powers, our trog powers. So honestly, that ring has the upside of giving us some intelligence. And there's an obsidian statue, which we're going to get out of the way of. Uh, okay, and I'm not going to go down there. I need some enemies to kill to raise, just to get some easy experience to get my intelligence out of zero. So that's the danger of having a four intelligence. It used to be that that would kill your character, which is so brutal. It doesn't do that anymore, mercifully. Oh, here's a Reaper. Great. I'm, like, actively looking for guys to kill. I'm just like, hello? Anybody want to come die? Not really. They don't. Okay. Artifact leather armor. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, soul Eater, perfect. Come on over. Still at zero intelligence, though. Alright. So the depth one, we're pretty much done with it. Where can I go? I'm going to go to the Elven Halls. Just the first floor of it really fast. Um, I don't know why you would need to take me this way to get there. I guess going up this way. Alright, here we are. I'm going here just to fight some guys that are not that hard. Um, I mean, they're decently hard, but I need to... Uh, we leveled up, which is good. <laughs> and I need to get some experience so that I'm not at zero intelligence. And this is just something... Sometimes you have to do things like this. If you get drained, come back, check this out. Regeneration amulet's actually very good, but our amulet right now, um, is doing all the work for us with resist electricity and negative energy. Just ignore it, yes. Okay, here's a shop. Earth elemental, sure. Pyromancer, blast him up. And... There's a Potion of Might, which I'll buy. And there's a Wand of Ice Blast, which I will also buy. Um, Mind Burst, I will buy. Everything else I have, don't need it. Just getting myself some wands and stuff. Throwing rocks at people. The usual. I'm going to step back around. Uh, the Sorcerer is slightly annoying. Yeah, he's got Damnation. So I need to just get closer to him so I can take him out. We do have one intelligence now. So we are no longer slow. And Trog has given us a weapon, which is like some kind of plus four hand axe, which, you know, 
big whiff from Trog, but hey. As long as you get one good weapon from Trog, I consider it a victory, and then everything else is kind of like gravy. Oh, that guy tormented us. It's great. Whenever you see a big hit like that, it, it, at this point in the game, it's, uh, it's some kind of torment. Damnation or negative energy blast that just is an unreasonable amount of damage. And I got two intelligence now. I'm going to try to get just a little bit more. The first level of the Elven Halls is really not that bad. It gets diabolical as you go. It just depends also on your ability to take out spellcasters. And also things like this. Ranged guys. There's a lot of elves that want to use bows on you. I'm on fire. How about that? Alright. We are making money, though, and we found some good shops. Oh, and there's uh, there's some singing weapons very often in the elven halls. I don't think it's guaranteed, but it might be. There is a vault or a chamber that is, like, full of enchanted weapons that will fight you that are animated. And it's like a, the Hall of Swords or Hall of Blades or something. It uh, is a good place to get weapons, if you know, sometimes... But usually it's just stuff that's not as good as you are. There's a ring of fire. And we're done. And we got three intelligence. So now we can safely go back to the depths. So next time I see that brain, I'm going to have to fight it much faster. Um, all right. I got to kill this dude. And we're just throwing rocks. Stand down on the staircase. There's a gate to hell. So, Hell, aptly named, is another sub-branch you can go into for runes if you're looking for Extended. And again, Extended is anything beyond a three-rune victory, which is the minimum you need to win. It's kind of like you want to make the game harder, or you want to troll, or you feel like you just have an insane character, and you want to capitalize on it, see how much extra you can do. There are three runes inside Hell, and... Uh, they recently have made the Ice Branch of Hell, Cositis, even harder. Um, it is a very, very difficult branch indeed. Don't go to it. <laughs> it's kind of in the camp of the Abyss and Pandemonium. Um, just don't do it. The Tomb, just don't. Unless you're specifically going for that. Unless you've been consistently getting three rune victories and you want to challenge yourself, then you can. Now, here's the glowing brain again, and I really want to avoid it doing its thing. It's got a big range on its ability, and I can't mitigate it um, with anything that I have, so I just am going to throw stones at it and hope that we kill it before it chooses to use that ability, and it did. We did. Fire dragon. I think it's funny at this point that I can just throw rocks Okay, here's a Flayed Ghost. This is worth pointing out because you'll see it just did its ability. It flays you. It's it's one of the other things that if you notice your hit points just precipitously drop off at this stage of the game. It's either Torment, Damnation, um, you have a weakness to an element and you got blasted by it, or it's something like this, a Flayed Ghost. And you see all the blood that goes around. It flays you. It does a huge amount of damage, but the damage is temporary. If you kill the flayed ghost, um, you'll get all the health back. You'll see I'm flayed. I am covered in illusionary wounds. It's minus 90, okay? Um, now, most of the time this isn't horrible, but if you get killed, even though these wounds are illusory, you will die, okay? And you see I kill it and I get all my health back. So the, the Flayed Ghost is um, particularly difficult if it's accompanied by other things. So just a really fun guy to be mindful of. Ah, and we found Sajobo. Okay. Um, so Sajobo is a Tengu who is quite strong. She's got all of these spells, right? Lightning Bolt, Airstrike, Wind Blast. 
Um, and then she can also fight you with her sword. So she is diabolically difficult. Um, I might silence her. Actually, I think I will. I'm just going to silence. And I'm going to throw this. And I'm just fighting right now. Sajobu can't cast spells, but she's really, really hard to hit. I can't go Berserk um, unless I quaff a potion of Berserk Rage because I've, I'm silenced too. Anything within this these purple boxes cannot use abilities that are activated by the mouth, um, but we killed Sajobu. The good thing is we don't care. Like, going Berserk would be great, um, but you can't go Berserk and then read the Scroll of Silence. And also, there's just so much unexplored that I don't want to get annihilated because, you know, I go berserk and then something else even harder than Sajobo comes out. And I'm not ready for it. Silence just takes all of her spells offline. She can't summon stuff. She can't blast us with electricity. Makes her much easier for us to manage. Also, all the other Tengu couldn't cast spells. There's a gate to the Abyss when you want to intentionally go to the Abyss, not like us who are cast in there against our will. That's how you get there when you want to go there. That's how perverse that is. Again, don't do that unless you are going for extended or you want to just check it out and see what your character is capable of. Our character could do reasonably well in the Abyss right now, but it's just such a challenging place. Ooh, okay. Big boy. Um, <laughs> poison blasted us. We're just going to wait until he Green Death comes around. And we'll go up and kill him. Get out of the poison. Fire Dragon. That's unwelcome. I'm going to go up the steps and rest. Just take it easy. You can see, like, our character is super strong, but the depths are just really, really hard. There's just a lot of very, very high hit dice creatures that work through your hit points and defenses. Oh, we got drained by something. What drained my intelligence? When did that happen? <laughs> Was there like a... Maybe it's because I'm sick. I didn't see a brain that tapped my intelligence. It might be the sickness that I'm suffering from. But it's temporary, so we're just going to have to work through it. At least it's not zero. All right, time to Trog's hand, and we'll just fight through these guys. It's a bunch of trolls. I'm going to actually step back here. They can't... Um, the trolls can't destroy this stone wall. They can break the rock wall, but not the stone wall. So you can kind of stand next to that uh, and be a little bit safer. I'm going to just fight right here. Oh, they're using big spells on us. Funny. Alright. Again, we're getting blasted for a ton. We got two intelligence back, but the cool thing is um, I mean, our character is level 22. We have 213 hit points. And most of the stuff we can take, it's just about not getting overconfident with your character and knowing when to back off taking it easy, being slow, and just accepting the fact that you're going to get knocked around here no matter who you are. There's a golden dragon. This will be fun, because you know how I said we need resistances? If the golden dragon will drop its scales, we can get armor that's more resistant, higher guaranteed damage value than plate armor that gives you resist fire, cold, and um, poison. But that's only if he chooses to drop it. We don't know. We can just hope. Oh, he did. Baller. So look at our armor right now. We are currently wearing this will armor, which is very good, don't get me wrong. But we don't need it. We don't need four pips of will. Three will do, especially when we can get two from Trog's hand. So we want to wear that at all costs. I'm going to drop... Uh, what do I want to get rid of? 
we might be able to get rid of this cloak now that we have uh, a source of resist fire. I'm going to drop this for now. We'll come back and get it if we want it. I'm going to drop the ring of flight. I just don't need it. Um, and then I'm going to go get this uh, dragon scale. Let me show you. Let me go up. Never put on armor on a floor that you haven't fully explored. And I'm going to show you. We are at 34 armor class. Let's examine the dragon scales. See, they are base armor rating 12, which is really high. They can be enchanted to plus 12, which is insanity. But their encumbrance rating is 23, meaning that you have to be super strong and good with the armor skill to wear these without getting encumbered. Luckily, we're both. We're super strong, and our armor has been training uh, substantially. So you can see, putting this on, even though it's plus zero, will increase our armor class from 34 to 36, and we'll get the all-needed pips of resist fire and cold. This is fantastic. I'm going to wear it right now. Um, I'm just going to put it on W. And I'm going to drop my um, plate armor of willpower. I just will not need that. Now check me out. Um, actually, you know what? We lost... Uh, I The will that I was looking at was with um, the plate armor of willpower. So unfortunately, we will only have three if we have... Uh, it. This was with that and Trog's hand. So we still would need Trog's hand to be good against will, but we have one pip... The main thing is this. Now we have a resist against fire, cold, negative energy, poison, electricity, corrosion, one will. We reflect and we also rampage just in case. So all of this combines to make our character what you want to be at this stage, which is just all around good at resisting stuff to the best of your ability. All right, let me go over here. So this is fantastic, to be honest. Um, I, I'm excited about it. it. It's a big upgrade for us. And if we ever find any scrolls of enchant armor, uh, we can just pump this up. It also just gives us a boost. Oh my god, we just found a scroll of acquirement. Well, how about that? Manual of Axis. I mean, it seems like a match made in heaven. The amulet's unwearable. Um, it doesn't let you teleport if you wear it. I, you just, even though the amulet gives you some good stuff, we already have an amulet that gives us resist electricity and negative energy. We already rampage. Acrobat's okay. It's plus 15 evasion when you're not, when you're just moving. But not being able to teleport is a complete deal breaker. The chainmail is good early in the game. This would be insane. Uh, but w the dragon scales are better. We don't need gold. I will take the manual of axes. Um, we won't even actually use the full manual, I don't think, but might as well have it. I'm going to drop this ring of protection from fire. Let me get this. And now look at us. Axes. Train them up. Actually, I'm going to turn off everything and just go full bore into axes and see if we can just max it up. It's really, really cool. Love it. You gotta be careful when you're looking for staircases on the depths. We just cleared depths too, by the way. Do not, I repeat, do not accidentally go into hell or pandemonium or the abyss or something like that when you're going down the steps. Be sure that you are on the right staircase. We rampaged toward that guy and blasted him. Tentacled monstrosity. Almost got our intelligence back. Axes, intelligence is back. Axes already to 22. Spell books all over the place. Big boys. I'm just fighting things, like, carelessly for now. And damn, taking them down. Uh, okay. This is a lot of stuff. I'm gonna use Trog's hand. And we need to kill this ice dragon. Immediately we did. And we just want to take out the casters. Trog is giving us a weapon. Uh, is it something good? It's a plus five broad axe of flaming, which is actually better than our um, war axe of flaming, so I'll drop it. And now we have that in case we need to kill a Hydra, which we still might. But honestly, at this point, we could probably just throw stones at Hydras to kill them. 
because our character is really strong and we've been flayed. Uh, but we just rampaged that instantly. <laughs> Got our hit points back. Ooh, man, the game is really giving us a lot of shops. It's great. Just fight through these dudes. And just kill these. Let's just fight all these trolls, get them done so we can... I want to shop without worrying. Potion of Haste is good. I'll buy it. Um, that's all garbage. We don't need any of that. And that plate armor is kind of cool, except it would kill us with... Not kill us, but in minus five is not doable. All right. Moving on. There's an entrance to hell. And here's a vampire knight. Oh, God, we just obliterated that guy. Rampage plus infusion is kind of insane. And I'm just fighting stuff. And there's a way into the abyss with Lagunu, a nice little um, option. There's a plus four ring of protection, which we could consider, but we can't really take off our ring of cold at the moment because then we will just be neutral against cold. Although that's not the end of the world, but I like taking 50% damage against cold because there's so many things that are just going to be doing massive elemental damage. So like a little bit extra armor class is nice, but I have 36, like I'm not hurting for armor class. And let's go down here, last floor of the depths. Uh, oh, we got corroded. Okay, so that's a good point, by the way. Um, and this guy is actually being hard because we're corroded. Harder to hit. Tengu's dodge anyway. Even though we have resist corrosion, you still can get corroded. And here it is, everybody. So when you get further, you start seeing things like this. And this would be draconians. Draconians are what are going to fill up the top floors of um, Zot's realm. And they are enemies that are quite annoying because they all have different abilities. Um, and they're similar to actually that, you know, when you play as a Draconian, you will become one of these types of Draconians as your scales evolve on you and things like that. Um, but they're strong. They're, and some of them are stronger than others. So don't ever underestimate Draconians. You might think they're just little dudes. Uh, they are, but they can add up. And if you don't have the right resistances, uh, things get nuts. And like this, for example, this guy down here is just summoning dudes and we can't get to him. So this is frustrating. So I'm having to fight through his summons, uh, which is, you know, bad for us. And I need to get in there. Once we kill him, his summons will go away. Here's a brain. Please don't take my intelligence. Okay, we got it. But we need to leave. Look at that. We got hit. Now, the one thing about Draconians that you want to pay attention to is that they wear cloaks, all of them, and sometimes they have really good magical cloaks. So you can always check them to see, like, if you don't have a good cloak. Um, we have Resist Poison, which we no longer need. So if we found, like, a cloak of resistance or a cloak of willpower or something else, uh, we could easily switch to it. By the way, we can probably just drop scrolls of Identify to make space in our inventory because... Uh, oh, God. All right, I was, like, walking to this guy like he's nothing. This is Boris, okay? So Boris is really hard because he can roll orbs of destruction. He can iron shot you. Um, look at his. Look at how much damage his spells are doing. Three dice, 32. I mean, just gross. So we need to immediately Trog's hand, and um, I'm just going to go berserk against Boris. Um, but you'll notice we didn't really kill him. So he says, I'll get you next time. Boris is like a lich, so he has a few lives. So you have to kill him repeatedly. Um, oh, there's an artifact ring, but here's a juggernaut. Okay, I can't go berserk either. Juggernaut is, is really, really hard, but with our character, it's, it's okay. It's not the absolute end of the world. Uh, I'm going to close the door and just rest. Juggernauts are more feared when they are running towards you. Here's another gold dragon. Uh, and I'm just going to be spamming Trog's hand in, in these sections of the game. This is the 
bottom level of the depths. Like things are getting insanely difficult. Here's a frostbound tome. I've never actually seen this before. This must be a new edition. It's just an animated spell book. If a juggernaut's uh, far away from you and it gets to run and build up speed as it's coming to you, then you want to be terrified. Uh, there's... Alright. Uh, I can't believe the Titan has line of sight on me from there. Ooh, we got level 23. How's 220 hit points? Pretty good. Alright, and... We're just fighting the Titan... Hitting us. Gold Dragon hitting us. And a Sphinx. And it did paralyze us. And we got confused. And we're standing there. And we got smited. And we don't get to act. Like, so that was really awful. Getting paralyzed is terrible, which is the only downside of losing some of our will. Um, I should have just refreshed my Trog's hand right there. But here's another thing. When you get confused, you just quaff a potion of curing. It removes confusion, okay? And then we're going to rest, and we're going to go through here. There's a magical buckler. A beautiful buckler. We don't care. Look at this ring. Oh, jackpot. Except for the intelligence. This ring is sick. So this is the willpower we were looking for. This is more cold resistance. And we get C invisible, which we didn't have. Um, so we're going to put this ring on. And it's so dicey. It's so shameful that I'm going to wear this. Um, but I'm going to put this on instead of my ring of protection from cold. And you'll see that now I have a one intelligence. So anything that drains my intelligence is really, really bad. Uh, but we just need to be mindful of that. It's worth it to get... Um, the will save because you saw that just getting um look at our will right now by the way it's five because i have uh trog's hand oh god that's an entrance to hell that's covered by all sorts of manner of beast from hell hell knights and things that are quite challenging we don't want to be there <laughs> we don't want to be in an open room with all those things that can just hit us from far i'm going to use um my regeneration. So there's a fire giant, a salamander, a sun demon, deep troll, and a deep troll shaman. We want to fight all this stuff, but we don't want to um, be near too much that can get us from range. But you see how much fire damage and different types of elemental damage I'm taking? This is why the resists become key at this point. Um, there's a salamander nearby. Yes, there is. All right, let's just chop that guy down, and we're going to rest up. Even that frost giant, he wants to do cold damage, and cold damage is no joke. It's Bor- Oh, no, that's Ancient Lich. I was going to say it's Boris. It's not. I'm going to go Berserk. Uh, we have an Ancient Lich here. We need to take it down. We got it. And I'm going to close the door and just rest up. Rest up. Woo, getting tough. Dr you fight the dragon, the fire giant, and an Ancient Lich. Yep, we're getting close to the end, aren't we? Enemies are ratcheting it up. Enemies are like, we are going to kill you. All right. So that Hell Knight, I don't mind throwing some stuff at these guys from far away. But I don't want to just stand here with too many of them on the screen at once. Uh, but this is pretty funny that we can just abuse our stone throwing when when we can see when the smoke isn't blocking the water. And we're just getting free experience from these hell hogs and these guys that have no range. It's 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 cheating, but it's the good kind of cheating. Is that possible? Yeah, I was all worried about it, but I thought they had access to me, but they don't. They're surrounded by lava, so they can't actually get to me. It's pretty funny. And a Quicksilver Dragon, and we're going to just use Trog's hand and take down a bunch of trolls. And I'm fighting them in the open because I have an axe, and I'm crazy. I'm swinging it around. How about that? Mm-hmm. And there's some ugly things, and that's a lot of ugly things. Let's go back into the hallway, ugly things, and let's fight one at a time. Do you guys mind? Just queue up, please. Thank you very much. Can we just fight one at a time? Hey, we mastered axes. Cool, look at this. When you master a skill, it turns gold. Axes, 27. That's the top level. So we're going to turn back on fighting. We're going to turn on armor, and we're going to turn on shields, and we're going to be thrilled about it. We did it. Max level. Can't get any better with axes than we are. Okay. And we're just going to run around. 
And this guy wants to try to shoot us. Yeah, right. And we're probably getting close to Zant. There's going to be a bunch of enemies most likely guarding the doorway to Zant's realm. Draconians, dragons, all of it. Let's see what they got. Ooh, potion of strength. And yep, here's a guy. Purple. Purple is Zant's color. We're getting in there. Draconian launching at us. By the way, you can always just push X and then move the cursor and push V to see like what each Draconian has. Like This is a white one, so it does cold damage. Uh, you know, just so you know what each Draconian is capable of. My character at this point... Alright, here's a green one. Poison guy. Uh, Storm dragon and an ice dragon. Oh, he tried to flank me, huh? Cool. There it is! We did it! I'm gonna explore the level fully. My character at this point with my resistances isn't too concerned about any Draconian, but a bunch of Draconians is still hard, especially if they're summoning or doing something else that's otherwise annoying. And we're going to go here, and this is the Realm of Zot. And you have to have three runes to open this door. We're going to go into it, and it says, The lock glows eerily. And you'll see each rune, we insert it as a key into the lock. The Serpentine rune, the Decaying rune, the Silver rune, and we are in the Realm of Zot. And here's a tentacled monstrosity, and I'm just going to kill him really fast. And I'm going to go out and say we did it. We're level 23. We maxed axes. We got gold dragon scales. We're just sitting real pretty, except we're stupid with one intelligence. But we're a dumb barbarian who is just ready to roll. We're an axe maniac. How about that? So that's the depths. And next time, we will move in to the realm of Zot. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still finding these useful. I hope you have a great day. Take care.